tell you that this came out with some more strange Anthony Joshua analogies again. If you remember after the Pew left fight, he was talking about some ghost of Ruiz, about how it was the ghost of Ruiz boxing Pulev in it. I don't know. I don't know how the ghost managed to knock out Kubrat Pulev, but yeah, he said the ghost is what fought Pulev. Now he's back again. Um, reacting to this two fight deal being signed, he's talking, he's talking some more stuff about some electricity or t- t- just just check out what he had to say. I think Fury could stop him. He's been to dark places when he got stopped by Ruiz, he being Joshua. He, he went to dark places. Now he found a light and he lit the room up and he's back into a place that's lit. I just don't think he's that far away from a power shortage. I, I, I think that there could be a blackout again uh, where his confidence, when I say the electricity, the light, I attach it to confidence, belief, mental strength and durability. I think that a blackout could happen in that generator of his uh, again. Whenever I hear people go down that um, gunshy route and that ghost of Ruiz route, it's so funny to me because they, they act like AJ has all the flaws in the world and Fury has zero. Fury is just perfect. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So basically because AJ lost a fight, we're just going to ignore all Fury flaws and say, oh, no, nah, no, nah, AJ lost a fight. AJ got all the problems in the world. Just like, let's ignore Fury. Like, like, like what? What? <laughs> AJ lost two years ago, so yeah, he's probably going to lose again. Like, what are you talking about? If Fury keeps fighting, he's probably going to lose too. If he fights live bodies like AJ does, he's probably going to lose too. AJ could have fought anybody but Ruiz that day. When was it? June the 1st? He could have fought anyone. But he chose to fight a live body. He could have went the Pianetta route like Fury does. The Tom Schwartz route. The what's the other guy? Seth or Safari route. He could have fought one of them caliber. <laughs> he could have done that. But you know he chose not to. But he, that's how he came unstuck. If Fury approaches the game like AJ does. He's probably going to lose too. That's just how it goes. It's boxing. You've got two men in the ring. One's going to lose. You had AJ out here trying to fight Luis Ortiz. Trying to fight... um. What's this, Michael Hunt? Ah, oh, he's like, what? Fury wouldn't have done that. Fury would have called a fight off or just, you know, f- um, had to for Safari 2 or something. Fury was not going to um, consider no Lewis Ortiz and Michael Hunt. He was never going to do that. He would have fought Tom Shorts again or something. Just conveniently ignore the fact that this man just whooped AJ six months prior and he jumped straight back into the immediate rematch and boxed his head off. Of course he looked nervous in there. Of course, who wouldn't look nervous? <laughs> he's human. He's, so what is so what is not a machine? Is, is, is that a crime? He, he looked nervous in there, fair enough. But he he went in there. He went in there. So you can't tell me you saw no nerves in the Pulev fight. That's just, that's, that's ridiculous. Now you're stretching it. Now you're stretching it. I don't even know how Ruiz can be a ghost as well with his belly tucked in his trousers, as Dylan said. He had four of the five belts and, and he couldn't we bothered to train for uh, you know i said oh no all of a sudden oh yeah i've been training i'm taking my life serious i've lost weight blah 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 but when i look at the the picture your belly is tucked into your pants anyways let's move on to something else contrary to what teddy's saying about some ghost and all of that in the Pulev fight here goes sugar hill um, tyson fury's trainer he's one of he's one of the le- more level-headed guys in that camp one of the reasonable ones not trolling all the time and saying a whole bunch of crap here's what he had to say regarding aj he showed a lot of good things in that fight the Pulev fight i was very impressed his patience he was relentless he was pushing the issue he was impressive aj is a dangerous fight period from what i saw in that fight he really put stuff together I thought he took the risk. He didn't fight anything like he fought against Ruiz the second time. That's the one he didn't take risk in. He fought with a different style. Now I believe he's comfortable with it. He did take risk in the Pulev fight. He didn't shy away and just wait. He was right there. He was aggressive and I thought it was a great fight and great performance by Joshua. AJ is one of the top fighters in the division. One of the top fighters in the world. With his skills and experience, he's one of those guys who keeps practicing. Yeah, this is one guy that didn't see a ghost in that Pulev fight reasonable reasonable guy I, I, I don't know i don't know what people are on about but yeah i do i do 
it's it's quite nice to see there's someone in Furious Khan that's at least taking AJ seriously, you know. I do believe Tyson is in for the most part. I don't uh, his entourage, I don't know about them, they just seem all up in the clouds in, in cuckoo land but yeah i do think fury knows this threat in front of him and this is nice to see for his sake and for his fans sake that his trainer does take aj as a serious serious threat which he is which he is they shouldn't expect to fight no ghost in there as usual do your thing in the comment section below like subscribe if you're new notification bell click that so you know exactly what's going on up here and yeah i'm out